Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with New Leaf. Today, I went to a very unusual grocery store. Look at these yams. They are huge. Actually though, I went to pick up some breadfruit and today I'm gonna to show you how I will cook it. So here's my breadfruit and I've done a little bit of investigating. I YouTubed it and Googled it and there's several ways that you can actually make these. When I was at the store, I didn't really know how to pick one out. So I, I asked um, one of the employees there and he actually picked me out a good one. And um, when I look to see how to prepare these, one of the ways you can do it is actually cut across up here and put it in foil and bake it like a potato. We are not going to do that. I'm going to make it several different ways. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to oil my hands and cut this up. Uh, apparently, once I start cutting this up, it's a little sticky. And somebody said to put oil on your hands and that will help it to not be too sticky. So I've washed it off. Here's where the stem is. And now to oil my hands up and cut into this. All right. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> It's not as tough as I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty tough. Ah, there we go. Ooh, this is what it looks like in the middle. Now, I'm going to cut this into wedges and cut this part out. I just wanted to show you, it's got little holes in it there. And it doesn't really smell like anything. So I've got half of it cut up. It kind of feels spongy. And honestly, I didn't really need to use the oil. It wasn't really sticky. There's a little bit of stickiness on the outside, this white here was sticky, but I didn't feel that it was sticky on the inside. Let me finish cutting this up, and then we are going to um, figure out which of these recipes I'm gonna use. So I have three different recipes. I'm not for sure if I'm going to do all of them. One of them, you just steam. One of them is a sweet dish, and another one is kind of like spicy French fries. I think I'm gonna do there that first. So the spices that we need are coriander, smoked paprika, turmeric, cumin, olive oil, and salt and pepper. I have most of these, but not all of them. I think the only thing I don't have is turmeric, so I'm gonna leave that out. I do have turmeric oil, and I could use that, but I'm not for sure I'm gonna risk that right now. This peeling is kind of hard to remove. I've been using a knife. You can use a potato peeler, but it's not really that easy to do. I stick with a small paring knife. Just be careful though, you don't wanna cut yourself. So since I'm only doing part of a bread fruit, I did not put the whole recipe in here. If you're doing a whole bread fruit, it calls for three teaspoons of coriander, three teaspoons of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of cumin, a fourth a cup of olive oil, and some salt and pepper. But since I'm using about a third, <laughs> I put a third of everything in here. I did not put the olive oil though. And this is about how thin I've cut my pieces. These are supposed to be like um, french fries, so I didn't cut them really, really thin. And I'm just gonna put them in here and I'm gonna coat them with the spices and I'm gonna lay them on a cookie sheet and then I'm gonna drizzle the olive oil on there. So I have everything laid out. I've got my oven preheating to 350 and I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil and kind of 
stir it around a little bit and bake it for probably 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. All right, this next recipe is supposed to be a little sweeter. We're gonna use olive oil, salt, cinnamon, cayenne, and honey. And I don't have the measurements. I think it's just, you just throw a bunch of stuff in there, mix in your breadfruit, and pretty much the same thing as I did with the french fries is um, put them on a cookie sheet. And I'm also gonna bake those at um, about 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna put the fruit in there first, the breadfruit, and then I'll add the spices. Let's see, a little bit of cayenne pepper. A little bit of cinnamon. Whoops, maybe a lot of bit of cinnamon. Be careful with that. And some honey, oh, some salt. And some honey. Some of you may think there's a lot of waste to this, but there really isn't. This is all the waste there is. If you think about it, it's no more than maybe an orange. So the last way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to boil it. I'm gonna put some salt and some water, bring it to a boil, put the breadfruit in there, and it's supposed to be done when you can actually pierce it with a fork. So we have our breadfruit boiling. So I turned it down a little bit and put the lid on it. And I'll check it here in a few minutes. All right, here are the French fries. So I'm gonna bake these. This is the one with the honey on it. And while these are cooking, we're going to try our French fries. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, whoops, yep, I'm going to set it for 15 minutes. And we'll check them. All right, I'm here with my mom, and we're going to taste these. Mm, they're pretty good. They do actually taste like French fries. I think they need a little bit more salt. This is not what I thought it would taste like at all. And actually, breadfruit is very good for you, and I'll address that a little bit later on. But right now, I've got to go tend to the boiling breadfruit. So these are the boiled potatoes or I was gonna call them potatoes. <laughs> they sort of look like potatoes, but they're not. This is the boiled breadfruit. I have not seasoned anything except for the, the water that they were boiled in. I'm gonna let these drain a little bit, and then we're gonna taste them, which I'm not expecting these to be that great. We come from a family that likes to season our food quite a bit. I mean, I do live in Louisiana. <laughs> All right, now for the boiled one. I'm, I'm a little nervous, I hope I like it. <laughs> Mmm. It actually has quite a bit of taste to it. It tastes a lot like a potato. I like it. Now I'm gonna go get my mom to taste, see what she thinks. All right, according to my mom, just a little bit of butter and salt and pepper, you're good to go on that one. I agree with her. So since everybody was talking about how good it would be with butter and salt and pepper on it, I thought I would dry that. Mmm. That's good. I didn't think I would like it this way, but it may be my favorite way. Mm. So I looked up the nutritional value for these things and they're packed with nutrients. It says that it helps to lower cholesterol, fights infection, promotes youthful skin. Hmm, I need that. <laughs> and healthy hair, hmm. Mm. Uh, let's see, what else does it says? It contains good fiber. So it reduces the rate of glucose. Sorry about that, my phone was just telling me I have a low battery, so I guess I gotta plug in. But anyway, let me finish this real quick. Uh, let's see, it says it contains a good amount of fiber and reduces the rate of glucose absorption. So it's diabetic friendly, that's great. Um, it's heart healthy, has a lot of potassium, controls blood pressure and heart rate. Sounds like a very good piece of fruit to add to your diet. That is if you can find it. All right, I've taken the sweet ones out. Let's 
put them on a plate and try them. Now we're going to taste the one with honey on it. I did drizzle a little bit of honey on there. Um, I'll have to say when I was pulling these off, I'm not a fan of the texture. They're kind of spongy and they're tough. I had them in there quite a while. The taste is good. I just can't get past the texture. Oh, the honey. They taste good because of the honey. They taste I good because of the honey. In there too. Yeah, I'll, and then they have a kick, which is good. I should have done them all boiled. Yeah. Uh, my mom and I have discussed that last <laughs> taste test, and we we seem to want it crunchy. I think that it would taste a lot better crunchy. I don't fry foods because it's unhealthy, but these definitely would be better actually fried. And uh, maybe if I had an air fryer, they would be good that way too. So it's very strange how the two recipes that I actually put lots of seasonings on seem to need something. But the one that all I did was boil it in salted water, it's really good. <laughs> I think that's quite odd. This actually brings me to the conclusion that I need to be more open to trying new things. And don't prejudge before I do try those new things. Do you try new things? Have you ever tried breadfruit? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me today. This is Terry Jeanette with New Leaf signing out for now. Bye-bye.